Assalamualaikum viewers, welcome to my channel NTS Guru. Today's lecture is lecture 2 of series of basics of probability. In this lecture, we will discuss some, some of the basic types of sample spaces which we use mostly in probability. As we know from the previous lecture, probability of any event is number of favorable outcomes divided by total number of outcomes in order to know about the total number of outcomes and favorable of outcomes we must know about the sample space of experiment so uh, number one sample space tossing of one coin if we toss a coin two results will be obtained either head or tail tossing of two coins as one coin results in two experiments similarly two coins will result in four outcomes as there is two in the power so starting from two head and start decreasing the head head tail tail head and both are tail similarly tossing of three coins together so there will be increase in power 2 raised to the power 3 is 8, so there will be 8 results as 3 in power, so starting from 3 head and start decreasing head, 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 tail, head, tail, head, tail, head, head, Following eight outcomes will result when tossing of three coins together. Tossing of four coins together will result in 16 outcomes. So writing sample space of tossing of four coins together. F0 is four, so starting from four head and start decreasing head there will be three heads at different positions So by decreasing number of heads, now there will be one head. Third position head at fourth position all the four heads all the four tails so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 these are the 16 outcomes which results in tossing the four coin together another experiment is throwing a dice when a dice is thrown there will be six results or six outcomes by throwing two dices together two dices together there will be 36 results 36 outcomes how we will write out outcomes by keeping one common from one dice and changing all the other values from second dice
Similarly, changing value from first dice and keeping all the other values and changing all the other values from the second dice. These 36 results will be obtained by throwing two dices together. Similarly, by throwing the three dices together, 6 power 3 will be 216. There are 216 outcomes. Uh, another experiment is one coin and one dice and one dice whenever there is n in probability this means there is multiplication so when there is or in the probability this means there is addition so one coin and one dice in the coin there are two probable outcomes favorable outcomes in dice there are six probable outcomes so two into six is 12 so there will be 12 outcomes how we write this by keeping head common in one and changing the dice values from 1 to 6 similarly by keeping tail common and changing all other values from dice So these six will be 12 outcomes or in other words the sample space when a coin and a dice are said, when a coin is thrown when a coin is tossed and dice is thrown so by, combi by combining both the outcomes there will be 12 outcomes next is pack of cards pack of cards as we know in the pack of cards there are 52 cards out of these 52 cards 13 cards 26 cards are red and 26 cards are black out of these 26 cards red and 26 black there are 12 face cards and 40 known face cards so pack of cards in uh, this lecture we will discuss in this topic we will discuss in lecture number six completely so there we will discuss completely how to write what are the face cards and what are the known face cards and their types and their names so this lecture was about the sample space of different experiments video ko like or share kijiye and my channel ko subscribe kijiye